Executive Vice President of Baseball Operations for the Orioles, Dan Duquette. First off, congratulations. Yeah, thank you, Tom. It was great. Great night for the owners, the fans, the team, everybody. It was a great night for the city. Second of all, I just want to ask you this. When you first got here, you said the Orioles were going to win in 2012, and people looked at you like you were coming in from some out of the space yard or something like that. But you had it in your mind that this club could win and would win. From the well, start. Well, I thought we had uh, good material here. We had good core people here. Uh, we had a good fan base that wanted a winning ball club. And we set out to try to build the pitching staff. And we have a good pitching staff this year. And that's really the difference. That's why we have a top quality team. Dan, you know, last night, a, a very special night. We closed it out finally. You were down there on the field celebrating. You had to feel like you were a huge part of that. Well, it was great. I was glad to be down there. Uh, my wife Amy and my family were here. And to get to know the players and then to have this special moment, uh, that was a real treasure. And then for the players to take the party out and include the fans, I think that uh, meant a lot to the city. Uh, it was just a great night. Now, Dan, when you look back on this team, I mean, you, you mentioned the pitching earlier. The pitching has gotten progressively better throughout the season from June on. Why? Well, our starters are more consistent. Uh, our starting pitcher tonight, Buddy Norris, developed a changeup under the tutelage of Dave Wallace, and that made him a completely different pitcher. Kevin Gosman now gets his secondary pitches over more consistently, as does Chen. And Chris Tillman has been a real staple in the rotation, and Gonzalez has improved getting his breaking stuff over. So all those developments under Dave Wallace, I think, have really solidified our team. And, you know, to a man, these players know that we have the group to advance in the playoffs and to accomplish our ultimate goals this year, and they know that last night was one step in that direction. Yeah. You know, Danny, a big thing in this organization, too, is how well you've used your, our own minor league players themselves. And tonight we get to see one of them, Christian Walker, out there. Tell us a little bit about him and his impressions. Well, I think our fans are going to like Christian Walker. Like Steve Pierce, he went to South Carolina and played first base there and did very, very well. He has excellent power to right center field. He was our minor league player of the year. We brought him up so he can get it up to 100 RBIs. He's got 96 so far. And he's got power. He's a good defensive player. And he's a real good, solid, dedicated def uh, kid. He was actually up here as a guest one night. He's a really impressive person, too, uh, Christian Walker. I want to ask you this, uh, Dan, about Alejandro Diaz. I mean, it seems like he's been like a house of fire out here since you brought him in. I mean, three triples has a three-run triple last night. The Orioles win all the games he gets hits in. Well, he's a good ball player, and he had a terrific year last year. He got the opportunity uh, when he came with us, and he got more at-bats, actually, and filled the void uh, when we lost Chris Davis. So Pierce has done a nice job filling in, and Diaz has really contributed to the offense. And uh, he's a good, solid player, a good base deal. You saw him make a nice play last night in the outfield. He run down the ball, and then he's come up with some big hits. So he's been a really good addition, and he's – he seamlessly integrated himself on the ball club. Well, speaking for the fans, I know they appreciate everything you've done since you arrived Absolutely. here. Oh, yeah, thank you. This is a great opportunity. I'm really glad to be here, and I'm looking forward to seeing this ball club in October.